Hi guys, welcome back to the show. Um, today we're in Alberta. We just got here ready for a deer hunt. As you can see in the back here, um, my good buddy Jason and his dad, they already shot some nice bucks. Um, got most of the meat processed here. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm saving all the tallow off the deer, as you can see here. Got all the fat that came off all their backs and their rumps there, that hard white fat that we usually throw out. We're actually gonna keep that this year. So I cleaned it all up, bagged it, I'm gonna freeze it. And when I get home, we're gonna try and make some stuff out of it. So stay tuned for that and um, hope you guys enjoy. That's making the most of your deer. Every part, try and learn something new every year. So here we go. Stay tuned for the hunt. Hey guys, welcome to the Angling Adventure. Um, and today we are going to uh, be rendering some deer tallow from Graham's uh, recent hunt. So this is our first attempt. So uh, let's learn together. Well, so far off one deer, we've got uh, these two Ziploc bags full of fat. And uh, we're gonna uh, try processing it up a little more. Um, most of the pieces are pretty small, um, but we just want to make sure um, a lot of the extra little gunk is off of them, the meat. We'll see you when I'm done. And here we've got some water and we're just going to add a bunch of salt. And the salt will actually help us to pull out uh, the impurities in the, in the tallow when it's cooking. And we're going to mix this up and pour this over the uh, tallow. And, uh, and then it's going to slow cook uh, overnight and we'll check it in the morning and see what's up. There's our tallow. I just turned it off for a little bit. It was just still bubbling. Um, as you can see, it's pretty jelloey. Um, it actually smells delicious, as weird as that is. And then here, I'm just gonna use my hand blender and see how this goes. <laughs> Jesus Murphy. <laughs> Whoa. Well, um, it's been emulsified and um, I can't say it wasn't just a little bit messy, but uh, the texture is a lot um, smoother, less chunks. I couldn't get them all, but uh, those will come out with the cheesecloth later, I believe. So uh, I'm going to leave this on low for a few more um, hours, I think. So just turning that back on because while I was emulsifying, it already started setting up. Um, you can kind of see that a little bit there. But uh, I don't know, it smells really nice. It smells like a nice roast, honestly. So um, we'll see what this looks like in a little while. All right, stay tuned. Oh. Hi guys, so um, it's been overnight and a full day, um, so about 24 hours we have been um, rendering the tallow. We're just straining the bits out and um, we're hoping uh, to see how clean this actually is. As you can see, a lot of uh, impurities and gunk, the salt has pulled out and, uh, and we're actually getting some cleaner stuff in the bowl. So once this is done, we're gonna let it sit in the bowl, kind of cool for a bit and hardens. We're going to see how clean it actually is and we might have to do the process over. Stay tuned. So um, just a little recap. Um, we had our rendered tallow. Uh, we had put it in the fridge overnight to solidify. And um, I'm gonna try and get this out of here. Thank goodness it's a little greasy. And I might be able to pop it out without breaking it. Let's see how thick this is. Oh, look at, look at that, G. Oh. I'm trying to get it out of here. Oh. Nice. Wow. 
That's pretty cool. And you see that dark stuff on the bottom? Yeah. That's... Hold on, I'll scrape that with a knife. That's all gotta come off, exactly. So, oh, you wanna do it in the bowl? Yeah, let's do it in the bowl. Okay. So we're just uh, drying our tallow. Um, we wanna make sure all the moisture is off. Just with a paper towel of some sort, cause this is extremely greasy. We just ran ours under some hot water and actually got in all these little crevices here and got out like some, some gunk. So we're hoping that we can get away without rendering this again. So do we wanna try and cut this then? Wow. I'm just split like a block of wood. Look at that. Can you see that? Like it's Looks so nice. far I think the I think a lot of the moisture is pulled out. Maybe the putting in the fridge really helped, right? Mm -hmm. So we can kind of get it into some jars and do what we gotta do with it. Looks uh, looks good to me. So there you have it. And we, we're gonna store it in um, in some glass jars so that the tallow doesn't absorb um, any of the like nasty things from that are part of plastics. Um, and apparently it'll be shelf stable. So as long as all that moisture is pulled out. Stay tuned next year to see. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what are you gonna do with this stuff? So I am actually gonna try and uh, make some body butter, like face lotions and things with it. Um, use some essential oils, things like that. Um, maybe whip it up. I, I'm sure there's a million things we can probably mm, do with it. I like but. that. I like the hand cream thing. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, you can use it just like like this, like actually, and like wipe, rub it on your skin. It actually feels really nice. Um, but I don't, I don't want to smell like a roast all the time. Smell. So I'm just gonna add some essential oils and some other oils to make it a little more spreadable too. Way too close. Hi guys, so um, I've decided that I wanted to use some of the tallow to make some uh, body butter or face cream or whatever you want to call it. Um, so here what I've done is, um, so I'm, I'm just uh, boiling down some of the um, tallow. Um, so every cup of tallow, I've added um, a quarter cup of coconut oil just to make it more spreadable. I've put a little bit of tea tree oil um, in because it's good for disinfecting, um, cleaning pores, things like that. And I'm also adding um, some essential oils. So I'm just adding some grapefruit so it smells a little more fruity instead of so much dairy. I just put a little a dash of uh, tea tree in there and I'm doing per cup of tallow, I'm doing about like 50 drops of grapefruit oil. I'm just gonna add that in and then we'll add the tallow and we'll get to mixing. Just whipping the body butter um, with our essential oils and I'm going to try and whip it for a minute and see where we get to here. All right, well, we just finished uh, whipping our body butter and uh, it's pretty nice consistency, I would say, and it's a lot smoother than it was, so I'm really happy with that and it looks like it uh, bulked up a bunch. So uh, next question is who wants to lick the beaters? All right, guys, well, enjoy, um, and uh, hope to see you on the next one.